Okay, now the unit has arrived and we've made an appointment for an attachment and a cut-in. This is a long appointment for me because I do want to make sure that I've cut it in correctly. If I don't, we've got to wait another nine weeks for me to get another one to put on her head. I'm going to start by washing the unit first of all. It's traveled, although it's not been worn, it's dusty. It also makes it much easier to work with. With the unit comes the mold so that you can hold on to that and make others that are in the exact same size, shape, and contour. And there's also a template that comes with it. This is taken off of the top of the mold and it's used for the attachment. It's going to give me a guide to know exactly where to place this on the head. I'm going to be using for Roxanne a silicone attachment. If I wanted to make this temporary, like I said before, I could attach clips, usually four or five, around the perimeter. Maybe a sixth one in the very front if she still has hair. If she does not have hair, I'll use contoured tape, double face tape, to adhere the front of this. But I'm going to line up the top so that I make sure that it is right in the center of the head. And I'm going to place the front right against her hairline. If she doesn't have a hairline, a very easy way to find it is that the forehead is one third of the face. The nose is another third and the chin is a third. So if you measure from the tip of the nose to the bridge of the nose and bring that measurement up, it will fall in line with where her hairline is supposed to be. Line it up with the hairline and then with a Sharpie, usually a different color. In this case, she has black hair. I'd probably use red or green so that I can see through the hair the markings that I'm going to put on her scalp that will give me a guideline as to where her hair piece is going to cover. Now I use a silicone adhesive called No Tape. It's from Vapon. There are different types of adhesives. This just happens to be the one that I prefer. It comes in individual tubes. You can probably get about 10 or 15 applications out of each tube. You do want to be very, very careful with this. You want to spread this in a thin track all the way around the perimeter of where we're going to be covering. Then you're also going to spread it on a thin track right around the inside edge of the hair piece. This is a silicone adhesive, which is also a cohesive. It, it sticks to itself, not to the scalp. I usually comb the hair down as flat as I can so that I can see my outlines and then apply in short strokes towards the outline so I'm building a thick track of pure silicone adhesive. I always go from the center of the head out, not back and forth, because what you'll end up doing is you'll be pulling hair back into the adhesive, and it makes a real messy application. Now I'm going to apply the adhesive to the inside perimeter of the hairpiece, approximately half an inch wide, and making sure that I don't 
drip any of the adhesive down towards the edge. I don't want it getting into the hair because it makes it very difficult to get out. I let the adhesive dry for a few minutes on both surfaces. Then I will line up the front of the unit to the front of her head, right on her hairline. And roll the unit back onto her head, right into the adhesive. Press down just a little bit, and within just a minute, this is permanently attached. That's not going anywhere for at least another four weeks. The adhesive will bond the hair to the unit, but not the scalp. So after about four weeks, this will be a little loose because a half inch of hair will have grown. What I usually instruct my clients to do if they have tape in the front is to pull the unit down forward a little bit more. This will keep the unit tight onto the head and give the illusion that the hair piece is actually growing because in four weeks your bangs are longer and you need a haircut. Now all we have left to do is to cut it. Did the haircut, Miss Roxanne is ready to roll. All she'll have to do is once a month come in we remove the hair piece by soaking it with a, uh, a solvent underneath the unit, then pry the unit off, use that same solvent to clean out her own hair, clean out the inside of the hair piece, then I give her her cut and color if necessary, and reattach the piece the same way I did before. The only difference is I only have to cut from here down. What I would do is attach it first, then lift out my hairs, find the guideline from my hair piece, and work my haircut backwards. She is ready to roll. <laughs>